Hey everyone, my name is Kelly Welsh. I am a renal dietitian for approximately 25 years, as well as the Renew Program Coordinator. I have had PKD, been diagnosed for about 25 years at the same time. I'm Thomas Wimes. I'm a professor at the University of California in Santa Barbara in the Department of Molecular, Cellular, and Developmental Biology. My research lab has been focused on polycystic kidney disease for over 20 years. I'm also one of the founders at Santa Barbara Nutrients that makes product that's based off of the research we made in my lab. And then, of course, we always hear people that have been recently diagnosed with PKD. The first thing that they usually do is run to the internet, right? Run to Dr. Google. And it's so overwhelming. It's so overwhelming. I mean, you will get all kinds of dietary recommendations, supplement recommendations, and I think when you're first diagnosed, the most important, no matter where you are in your journey with PKD, is making sure that your dietary recommendations from a dietitian point of view are actually appropriate for you. You know, when you look up a PKD diet, a lot of times you're going to get old school textbook. You're going to get what I learned in college, the old renal diet, potassium restriction, phosphorus restriction, sodium restriction, fluid restriction. And in most cases, PKD patients don't have all of those restriction requirements until, may, if at all, they're at the end, very low GFR. So from my perspective, getting dietary advice really early on like we talked about, to help manage and kind of head things off is important. But do you have any advice for anyone who's recently been diagnosed with PKD? Yeah, it's tricky as a someone with PKD, you know, who's a lay person, you know, not a medical professional. How do you know this website on Google that I found is trustworthy versus this other one? And two of us, two talking heads talking about something. How do you know? <laughs> we know what we're <laughs> talking about. So that's really tricky. And uh, unfortunately, most doctors, even nephrologists, kidney doctors, um, I think the vast majority are also still practicing according to the old textbook knowledge from way back then. Oftentimes, that's not usually what doctors do anyway, is you know, have dietary advice. So that is usually almost never really a part of the advice somebody gets from a doctor. Yeah, I know it's frustrating. It's really difficult to find the right people. And even amongst, like you said, all the dietitians out there, there's very few enlightened uh, like you <laughs> and, you know, the folks we've been working with, but most dietitians out there are still practicing according to the, the nutrition textbooks from way back then that are based on old and outdated information. And by the way, that is all information that has led to the obesity epidemic we're in and the diabetes. So clearly <laughs> these textbooks have not really done any good for our society. Right. I agree. You know, one other big tip I have for PKD patients, really anyone actually, is learning to read your labs, paying attention to them, advocating for them, and really digging into what they mean because they are such a huge indicator to what's working for you, what needs to be worked on diet-wise for you, and whether a restriction or an increase is needed. I feel like that lab piece for people to really understand those and not just expect your physician or practitioner to go through every single lab that you know they take on you and explain every single one. So learning to do that and being really proactive is a big key outside of making sure your recommendations are personalized for you. That, that, that's actually a really good skill set to keep in mind, I think. All right. So Kelly, you're a renal dietitian. You run the Renew program. How can people that are interested in working with you or being part of the Renew program, how can they find you? Where can they find more information? So Renew has its own website, which you can find more information there. Sign up for the next program or sign up for a free call to talk with me to decide if the Renew program is right for you. If you have further different questions, things like that. Also find us on our PKD Nutrition with Renew and Santa Barbara Nutrients on Facebook page. You can see me and some other Renew dietitians as well as Dr. Wimes on that page and contributing. It's a great tool for education.
All right. And Thomas, it is always lovely to talk with you, pick your brain. I know that I speak for all the PKD patients out there that we appreciate so very much the research that you do. Where can people find you? Where can people find your research? I mean, one popular way of staying up to date with our research and everything that's going on is to join my lab's Facebook group. Just type in Wimes Lab, search for that. Anyone is welcome to join. You can also head over to uh, the Santa Barbara Nutrients uh, website. There's a lot of resources and information there. I highly recommend the Santa Barbara Nutrients uh, YouTube channel where there's a lot of content there as well. 